Breaking news now from D.C. FBI agents raid an upscale apartment in Navy Yard. And two men are arrested and accused of impersonating federal officers for years. News for Amy Cho is live tonight with the details that are just coming out. Amy? Hi, Doreen. Yeah, this is truly such a wild story. It sounds like something out of a movie. Now, according to the FBI, for over two years now, two men here in Navy Yard have been pretending to be federal agents and police officers and buying expensive gifts for real Secret Service members. Now, those two men are 40-year-old Arian Teherzadeh and 36-year-old Haider Ali. Both men were arrested by the FBI tonight. These are some pictures of Arian Teherzadeh from the arrest warrant against him. You can see him posing in uniform and tactical gear and showing off what appears to be weapons in the background. Now, according to the FBI, Teherzadeh and Ali both lied to people and pretended to be Homeland Security agents and police officers. They said they were working undercover and claimed they were investigating matters related to gangs in January 6th. Now, in addition, court documents also say they allegedly drove a car with police lights, carried the same gun that Homeland Security agents use, pretended to hire someone for Homeland Security and shot them with an airsoft rifle to, quote, test their pain tolerance and gave free rent and other gifts to real Secret Service members. Now, lots of questions still to be answered here. It is unclear how they got all that police gear or what their motive was, what they hope to gain from all of this. Tonight, we spoke with one of the residents here in the Crossing apartment building where Hyder Ali lives. That neighbor didn't want to show his face on camera, but says there had been security concerns about Arian Teherzadeh before. He was giving out codes to random people on the street and they were coming in using the facilities. Everybody was kind of suspicious of them, but because they had the police, um, you know, they had that police backing, they kind of like gave him a pass. I'm glad for Because I did kind of like hang out with him and I trusted him that he was a police officer. Now, tonight we saw real police officers at the apartment building as part of the ongoing investigation. The court documents also say the two men allegedly used their fake identities to gain access to their building's security cameras and also to their neighbors' personal information. Now, both Teherzadeh and Ali are expected to appear in district court tomorrow. Back to you. More to come out on this, I'm guessing. Amy Cho, thank you. Court documents say four of the Secret Service members who received free rent and gifts from those suspects are now on administrative leave while an investigation takes place.